the season was just one big deer after another. So that, that's the positive side of the season. Overall, with the reporting system, the harvest rate is 8% below last year, 8%. Now, like I said, I think that the amount of flooding in, in, the, in the high harvest parishes of, of north Louisiana, north central Louisiana, probably accounted for most of that, although the harvest rates were down in, in, in many other parishes as well. But on the other hand, it was by far, in my knowledge, the best year as far as just big, good deer killing just every day. Somebody was killing a big deer somewhere. Oh, well, there were several. There was one killed every day during the week of Thanksgiving, and then you had the late January south Louisiana area six bucks started hitting the ground. Right. Uh, you're talking 160 class bucks and up. I, I, just regularly. It was very impressive, very gratifying, you know, from as being a, a state worker to see all that happening. What do you think that's attributable, attributable to? Well, Thanksgiving, we did have some really good cold, clear weather. The WMA hunts were, were very successful. Southwest Louisiana, WMA hunts were, were record high. I mean, we had big numbers of deer killed over there. So, that, that in uh, sort of opposite of what was happening in North Louisiana. We didn't have all the flooding and all that. We had cold weather uh, very much through the year, although it was often overcast and just kind of drizzly. Um, I, it, it may, I, I really think it's a trend myself uh, for a lot of our hunters that are just, they're just passing more bucks now. We're getting more age on our deer. Maybe it has a little bit to do with the, with the new uh, limit of, of three bucks. We know that a lot of guys will, will hold, they'll shoot a buck or two and then they'll hold on, uh, hold out for, for a really good deer. Um, what about, uh, do you think any of it's attributable to backwater flooding uh, from the heavy rains or did you? It's possible. I mean, anytime deer get pushed up on smaller areas of, of land, on ridges, and, and we had a lot of that in the basin. You know, the basin was another area that just was high for much of the year, making those deer a little more vulnerable to harvest. Um, that could that can always increase the chances of killing an older age buck who just just uh, you know they just they're just more vulnerable, and we actually had a season closure in the in the uh, river parishes below uh, uh, 3127. We were so concerned with the high water there, we were concerned with with the, uh, extra fawn mortality, so we actually closed the season for a little while there just. We're going to really need to watch our, our lactation rates this year and, and see where they're falling out because all this high water likely did stress, stress some deer. And we've had low lactation rates in the last previous couple of years. Um, that and combined with, with, the, with the blue tongue that we're seeing with the HD um, could be making these harvest rates a little lower. Also, just reporting rate, you know, we still May, need to make sure that hunters are, are getting those deer uh, reported through the system. Right. And in, in your opinion, where does the department stand with satisfaction with the tagging system and the direction that the state's headed? How do you see the future? We, we like it. I mean, uh, we're, we're fine tuning it. Uh, the data is, is, is pretty valuable. Uh, we're, we're able to look at, at parish harvest rates, sex ratios like we really never have before. Um, I, we'd like to continue. Now, we have heard there are still hunters that are having problems and issues with it. Nobody, not everyone is happy with, with having to do it. Uh, but it's really gotten a little better. The internet is, is really not a problem for, for guys that have internet access. And uh, we, we hope that as, as we continue to do it, hunters are more and more receptive to it and they and have fewer problems with it. We'd like to continue doing it.